How to install a sliding gate. Difficulty level, two hammers. This is a space-saving solution, ideal where there isn't enough room to open gates or in a driveway. The sliding gate is an elegant fixture that may also be easily motorized. You will need a sliding gate, ground track, a gate guide, a lock, a striking plate, gate stops, and wooden blocks. You will need a pencil, a tape measure, a mason's rule, a chalk line, a spirit level, a hammer drill, and metal drill bits, masonry drill bits, concrete wall plugs, clamps, a cordless drill, a hammer, a flat spanner, a socket spanner, allen keys, and a screwdriver. Measure the gap between the two posts and check they are vertical. You will need a concrete base, also called a stringer, which is at least 15 centimeters deeper on the garden side than the posts and is longer than the gate on the receiving side. Make sure that the concrete base for the ground track is level and flat. Mark an extension line behind each post. Then mark the line of travel, 55 millimeters down this line. Stretch the chalk line across the two extension lines and mark the outline of the direction of travel for the sliding gate. Install the first element of the ground track, beginning at the closed gate position. The edge of the ground track should be in line with the post. Fix in place and then install the extension. Place the gate on the ground track with the midpoint in line with the post on the receiving side. Use the spirit level and blocks to ensure it is perfectly vertical and then clamp it in place against the post. Locate the gate guide temporarily onto the upper gate rim and two blocks with 5mm play between the top of the rollers and the upper gate rim. Position the gate guide in the center of the post, then mark the holes. Drill the holes for the fixing bolts with the correct size masonry drill bit. Insert wall plugs. Align the gate guide and fix the bolts with a 13mm spanner, checking the level all the time. If you intend to motorize the gate, there is no need to install the lock. Fix a guide rail 1 meter from the bottom of the gate. Similarly, you will need to add an extension piece on the receiving side to install the motor unit rack. If you are not installing an electric motor, Fit the lock. Mark the gate one meter from the base of the gate, in line with the handle. Use the lock as a guide to mark the opening for the cylinder, the direction of the handle and the four fixing holes. Drill and install the lock. Put the gate in its closed position, with a small gap between the stand and the post on the roadside. Lift the latch and position the striking plate on the post. Mark the fixing holes, drill, insert wall plugs and fix the striking plate in place. Open the gate fully and place the gate stop on the ground with the buffer touching the edge of the gate. Mark the drill holes, drill, insert wall plugs and fix the gate stop. Place the protective cover on top. With its compact footprint and wide choice of models, the sliding gate is an easy way to install a space-saving solution.